review the shit out of Slammiversary 17, motherfucker. And to celebrate with, uh, the fuck, Killer Cross. Killer fucking Cross. God damn, dude. It's in Chinese, though. So, oh no, Japanese, I don't fucking know. But it's, you know, those symbols, so you can't understand that. I was expecting, I was, I want to get Rob Van Dam, they didn't have it. So, Killer Cross, second best. Or Eddie Edwards. Those two are just fucking cool. O V E. O V E. Sucks. God damn, that show was fun. Overpacked. Next time, get a fucking bigger venue or some shit. It was way overpacked. As soon as the show started, there was like a shitload of people all in the back just standing up. Like, oh my god, you could have just gotten a fucking. You could have gotten a goddamn fucking bigger venue, at least, or more seats. God damn, oh, you left almost half the arena standing up. I don't think they were expecting that many people to show up. I don't know, 2,000 people I think showed up. 1,000 to a 2,000. I, I think they were not expecting that much. But, well, we came in. We showed support for you. I mean, you, you've been here before. Well, bigger names, they're fucking different times. Oh, my God. Match of the night? I don't know. I think I might have to go with uh, Michael Elgin and Brian Cage. Those two just fucking killed it. That Canadian destroyer out of nowhere. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. I wish I caught that on film. That was that was a bad ass. That was like the spot of the night right there. That Canadian destroyer out of nowhere at Michael Elgin. I'm like, holy shit, I thought it was over. Like new champion. I forgot to talk about the Rhino the Rhino cameo. Or kind of. Because um uh, you know, he was mad. I think he's still under contract with WWE, but I think it's about to expire and he's pretty much gonna sign with Impact immediately. So yeah. I'm expecting Rhino to come here soon, it's kinda obvious. I mean, I got, did I predict Rhino? No, I didn't. I predicted someone to come back. I think I, I don't know who I predicted. I'm not sure who I predicted. I don't remember. I, don't, I know Rhino was in there. I wonder if Rhino comes back. So I wasn't sure if he's still on the contract. Uh, weakest match of the night? What is the weakest? Hmm. Can't think of it. I think maybe the tag team match. Because it just ended out of nowhere tag title they, that match that shit just ended you know I, yeah because uh, like one of the members got hurt they, i think it, it got a legit injury i remember i saw i saw cold and talking to josh and don in the commentary you know he put he put the x up and then you, you see the fucking referees and shit come down so i don't know second i mean the main event unexpected i think the main event definitely should have been cage and elgin but whatever i think the main event Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanker. I think they should have done that as just some another pay-per-view. Like after Sun Anniversary and Bound for Glory. I think they should that, that's when they should have done it. Oh my god. Good shows though. Sammy Callahan knows how to fucking work the crowd. I gotta admit, he knows how to work the crowd. I mean he did. Did I I don't, I don't know if I came out. I still I still haven't looked back. I think they had the different camera angle. The, the camera angle facing the fucking the, the the entrance ramp instead of the crowd. I know I know a few times they they recorded the crowd when some moments saw the camera, you know, like moving around the crowd when something happened. I know it definitely hit me because I was I looked right at it. So that's also when everyone gets up and it's like it's hard to see what's happening. Uh, who was I most excited to see? Rob Van Dam or Rob Van Dam. It was cool seeing Rob Van Dam. The North, I think the North are a cool, cool ass tag team. Johnny Impact, John Morrison, his contract expired. Shit. Hope he stays for at least a few, well, like another year. I mean, he did all he can do. He made, you know, old title run good enough for him. But, you know, they, they gave him Bound for Glory last year. Hopefully he stays, at least put over, puts over a few more people. At least have a few more good feuds. I mean, he's pretty entertaining. The guy he's with, um, Johnny Bravo, he's free. He was entertaining. He, <laughs> oh my, I, 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 I was actually laughing. I have it on video. Uh, what else? I hope Killer Cross doesn't go. I hope he stays. Uh, I think this is like this company, like they make him look like the most badass. I don't know if AEW or maybe they will. I think AEW could do it. New Japan, I think New Japan might just make him just look like some, you know, just, just some fighter. But you know, impact. He give, They gave him that edge. They gave him that person. The the personality. He he, he he has. 
So yeah, I think Killer Cross is fucking cool. Um, fix the camera chance, mostly for the people that couldn't see in the in the arena that couldn't see shit. They, because you know something, they, so they looked at the monitor, a small monitor, it's like like six up there. Half the time had no signal during the beginning. They're like, fix the cameras, fix the cameras. Chants were cool as fuck though. So I was pretty much like right there at the entrance ramp, or like not right there, but like few five rows behind the entrance ramp, like right there where the entrance is, where they walk, like that big fucking sign, right there. So I, maybe I did appear, or maybe I didn't. I don't know if I did. There's the, the guy next to me with the red hat with glasses on. If you see him, then you should see me, because I was like right next to him. And let's see what else. I can see inside. I can see backstage though. I managed to see backstage. They had like a little spot curtain. I could see the monitor backstage, so that was kind of cool. Cause I like I was like right there. I, I I could probably just get up on the stage if I wanted. Well, not where the camera is, but you know, I I, I could have jumped jumped on stage. I was like really like right there. Entrance ramp, not the stage where they walk down where they come out. I think that's it. Yeah, it was a good show. I would I I I still regretting. I wish I went to New Japan. Turns out it was not a sellout, kind of sad. But again, they picked a way too big venue in a city that they've never really been in. I think mostly, they it got filled up mostly because it's John Moxley. I think that's why, because John Moxley. And if they had Jericho and Moxley, I think it would have been bigger. If they had advertised more and more matches in advance, it would have been bigger. More people there, I definitely would have gone or tried to go. WWE was also here, but like, the fuck's going to go with that? Though I missed my chance to see The Undertaker. That sucks. Yeah, so overall, Slammer Rissi was good. Hope they come back, though. I think they will. I think every city they've been to so far, with this whole new Anthem shit, they've, they've been back to. So I think they might come back next year. Hope so. I hope they bring back Lockdown, dude. Lockdown was cool, so fucking cool. I don't, think, I don't think they can fucking fit in the arena, though. Yeah, so yeah. Gotta admit... Impact Slam Reversary badass as fuck. Shout out to Killer Cross. Killer fucking Cross. Fucking badass motherfucker though. Yeah. Peace.